And finally, 40 years ago, a Scottish peninsula was catapulted to international fame by a ballad written by a Beatle. Paul McCartney's Mull of Kintyre was the best-selling record for years after it was released and caused a major tourist boom in the area. Now, reporter Claire McNeil visited Kintyre to look at the legacy of the hit single. For years, it was Paul McCartney's safe haven, Scotland's best-kept secret. But after this record, the bubble burst and it became flooded with tourists lured in by the seal of approval from this international icon. It was a, a very popular time and it certainly did a lot for the tourism in Kintyre. Masses of, of people, especially Americans, they would come over in the droves and they all wanted to go off and visit Paul at his family home in, in High Park Farm. Such to the extent they had to get security people down at the gates when he was here to just to sort of gently advise them that they were, this was as far as they were going to get. The unsung stars of the record were the local pipe band who McCartney asked for personally. We were only 16, he left the school at the time. And I'll never forget when, when he first appeared at the door, this vision of Paul McCartney was just something you'll, you'll never forget. We, we didn't realise how big this was ever going to be. And, you know, and it's just, looking back now, 40 years later, it's, it's just been a privilege to, to be part, part of history. We used to be gathered at the radio, waiting to see if we're still going to be number one. <laughs> 40 years old, you aren't sick of the song yet. No, oh, I've never been sick of it, never. of the beauty of this idyllic corner of the world that McCartney loved so well has its change. Its charm is still very much intact. And 40 years on, the area is still capitalising on the popularity of that song. It's not just the tourism, it's the brand Kintyre, Muller Kintyre Cheddar, we've got Kintyre Gin, we've got the Kintyre Smokehouse. Some of them probably jumped on the bandwagon, so to speak, and, you know, let's, let's capitalise on, on what we've got here. Um, so I think it's definitely been putting Brank and Tyre in the limelight. The ex-Beatles visits to the area have become less frequent over the years. This memorial to his late wife standing as the only physical symbol of their time here. But the ballad did create a lasting legacy, an enduring allure that still draws people in, curious about the land this love song was about. Claire McNeil, SDV News, Kintyre. Now that tune will be stuck in your head for another 40 years. Thanks for joining us.